Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007, and today we look at the Mine Exchange plugin. So this is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to create requests for specific items, and if you get your items, you will give the player a reward. So it's all done in a really nice GUI. There's some really cool features, and it's a great plugin. So if we look at the commands, we do forward slash mxc and then reload. That will reload anything you've changed in the config file, which is pretty small, but we'll have a look at that later. And then if we do forward slash mxc, that will open up the main GUI. So there's a few things in here, it looks very nice. Down at the bottom we have the inventory, which we'll look at later. We have the create request, which we'll also look at. And then we have all of the current requests. So currently it tells you what the request is, what the reward is, the player who created it, and the time left. So there's lots of different examples here that we're going to use, um, but we are going to create one of our own. So this is what it looks like. So there's two different sections. There is the uh, item you want and the item you're going to give as the reward. So up at the top is the item we want to get, so diamonds and up at the bottom we have gold ore which is the reward. Now on the left and right you can increase the amount um, by different increments by 1, 10, 100, 1000, whatever. So the important thing here if we create it you'll see lots of errors and that's because we do not have 100 gold ore in our inventory. So it's very important if you're giving away an item make sure you actually have it with you. So if we go ahead and create it again but use a more sensible amount this time so pop them both in this time and we're going to increase it by 10 and we're going to go all the way up to 64 uh, one more and then add 3 62 64 there we go and that's going to be four let's say four or five diamonds so if we create it it will appear at the top and a request for five diamonds is created so if someone has five diamonds they can give it to us and they will get 64 gold as their reward which is really awesome so that's what it looks like um, when you create it. This is obviously the rewards and requests inventory. So when a deal has been successfully done, everything will appear in here and you can just take it back into your main inventory from there. So here we are on my other account. And if we look at all of the different requests, we can actually um, get some items from them. So if I give myself 100 stone and then go back into the GUI, we're going to select the 100 stone for one diamond and if we place it in here, uh, you can see the GUI looks very nice. Um, we can either cancel it or confirm it. And if we confirm it, the request will disappear and we will get one diamond. But we don't have it on us. If we go into the inventory and then the rewards inventory, you will see it has appeared there. So make sure you look in there for items that you have got. So if we get gold ore and we get 60 this time, which is half the amount that's asked, there's a very cool feature. So if we give them only 60, uh, we will get only three emeralds instead of the six, which we, um, which we can see there. So if we give that in, confirm, and then go into the rewards inventory, we will see that there's three. So you can give them a partial amount of items, even if you don't have the whole amount. So if you wanted a thousand cobblestone for a hundred diamonds, you could give 500 for 50, for example, which is really awesome. So if I grab some saplings here, uh, we can show you the second example. And if we open it back up and go to saplings, so pop them in here and we can either cancel. It shows you the request here in the middle and confirm. We will now get one grass block for those 10 saplings. If we have a look now, you can see the request has gone down by 10 and the player only wants 90 instead of 100. If we quickly jump back to my other account that made the request, we will see that if we do 4 slash mxc and then go to the inventories we will see all of the items that i have requested and they are here so the 10 saplings the 16 gold ore and everything else that i've requested so what we can do we can hit shift and click all of them and we will get them into our main inventory like that so that's going to be it for this plugin video it's a fantastic plugin you can download it in the description below if you need a server to host it on check out serverminder.com for the best and cheapest hosting around but that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time